Hello everyone and welcome to a tour of Square Park in Jurassic World Evolution. I built this park live over the course of two live streams, but of course a proper tour is in order and if you miss the live streams, I hope that this tour will inspire you to build a park like this of your own. Either squares, circles, hexagons, triangles, parallelograms, you name it, you can do it. I think it's a fun challenge, while at the same time still leaving you with a lot of creative freedom. If you enjoyed this kind of park building inspiration for Jurassic World Evolution, check out my other stuff. There is plenty more where this came from. So, so much more. <laughs> and if you like what you see, leave a like on the video and hit subscribe. I still have tons more park building ideas. And for starters, for the next Jurassic World Evolution livestream, we will be building a park made solely out of my one true love, my part-time lover, Circles. <laughs> yes, I'm cheating on squares and going right back to circles. But first, let's actually look at this park. Now, this was quite a massive project. Like I said, it took two live streams, I think somewhere between seven and eight hours. But I think it was worth it. I really enjoyed the process and I enjoyed the end result. The result is a bit of a bit of a maze. It's not the most organized park I've ever made. And there are a lot of exhibits and a lot of dinosaurs. But I'll try to make this tour quick and organized. But honestly, no promises. Alrighty, we have just arrived in our helicopter and also, as you can see, I do still have the uh, Mixed Eras mod installed. So that's why you'll see a mix of the Jurassic Park era buildings with the Jurassic World era buildings. Uh, same with the fences. Right away, we're giving away the biggest attraction. The Indominus Rex is right here as uh, guests enter our park. Anyway, so this is the Indominus Rex paddock. You can see her meandering about right uh, there. We're gonna move on though, uh, we're gonna go down or up, depends how you look at it. Um, these are uh, just some densely packed exhibits over here. Uh, the hatcheries are back there, you can just see them. Uh, let's see what's in here, it looks like a Giganotosaurus, marvelous. Let's see what's in the next exhibit, we're just flying through, we have, oh god, boom, <laughs> not quite. That didn't work out. We have Carnotaurus. I hear Dilophosaurus. I hear them, but I can't see. Oh, there you go. There they are. We have a big group of Dilophosaurus. Nedry's favorite. One's having a snack. Ooh, ooh, pretend that that's Nedry right there that he's eating. No, actually, don't. That's kind of gruesome. Um, moving on. People are pointing at us. Don't mind them. Okay, this little exhibit over here, we have... Proceratosaurus. I had to uh, really uh, squint me eyes for a moment, but that's the Proceratos. Uh, also, initially what the idea for the dinosaurs in this park was, was um, using dinosaurs that I don't typically use. So some of my uh, least popular dinosaurs, sort of as a uh, rediscovery of these species. But there's... Oh my god, he looks so happy! Oh, you Aplocephalus, you are adorable. Anyway, what I was trying to say before I, it was like cutest interrupters over here uh, is that there are so many dinosaur species in this park that after a while I just included some of my favorites as well. Uh, we are at a big square over here, big public square shaped like a square. Now, the reason that this park is kind of difficult to navigate through is because obviously not all of the squares line up straight. I should have neaten this up a little bit before the uh, the grand tour. Let's look into here. Oh, this is our island with Apatosaurus and Chimeras. So yeah, it's like a it's like a mini island in an exhibit, which I thought was pretty cool. Let's actually do like a little top view for you, so you can uh, you can see. There you go. It's uh, it's a mini island. Now where am I gonna go? I'm cheating a little bit. I'm gonna use the helicopter mode more often. Uh, we have Sinoceratops in here, a little redwood exhibit. Oh, Nasudos as well. Our beautiful cows. Prehistoric cows right here. Okay, we're gonna go back. Let's see what this is. Uh, this is the other side of the Dilophosaurus paddock. So what's over here? Uh, oh, we have Ceratosaurus. That means this is also the exhibit with the Alberto. It's a weird mix, I know, but last minute we had to have a Ceratosaurus. So I, uh, I chucked him in with the Alberto. Uh, what I did over here is I placed viewing galleries 
outside of the fencing. Uh, it doesn't work that great with this type of fencing because the um, the mesh is kind of making it difficult to look through. But typically, especially with like the light steel fences, there's the Alberto doing little tap dance. Uh, ooh, look at that jiggle on that thigh. Nice. Anyway, uh, typically with the light steel fences, I do kind of like how it looks. You know, it does obstruct the view a little bit, but it feels kind of immersive. Because it, it would make sense that there's still fencing around it. Now we have a guest square over here. Uh, it all just started out with a square outline and then just filling in, adding in as many buildings as I could. Uh, and using a mix of the thick path and the normal path so we get some... Uh, some nice signs popping up all over the place. Here we have the most essential exhibit of any Jurassic World or Jurassic Park. It is our goat exhibit. Uh, that's always a popular request during live streams. And honestly, I can't blame you. This is, this is what life looks like or what it should look like at least. Uh, we have another public square going up over to our left. We have the Nasudos and Sinos. Um... Here, just a decorative square in the middle of a square. It's squareception. Uh, what's over here looks like Carcharodonsaurus. Yeah. Ooh, I just impaled myself on these spikes. Nice. Also in a uh, nice redwood exhibit. Oh, we have Trodon in here as well. Hey, little buggers. Okay, we're gonna hop over. Here we have our big grassland exhibit. There are so many dinosaurs in here. Um, I honestly don't even know how many, but a lot. We have Carrizo, I see Chasmo, I see Penta, I see Parasaurolophus, uh, Archaeonathomimus, maybe Galleys as well. Honestly, so, so many. But yeah, just a big grassland exhibit. Uh, over here we have uh, Sintaus. I'm just gonna move over like this. There, Back there is the Central Swamp exhibit. We have... Mudaburosaurus. And in this one is the Metris. Oh, there. So uh, at this point the exhibit started to get kind of weird. Because I wanted to do like a blend of different biomes. So this is a blend of sort of grassland, sort of forest, sort of tundra. It's like everything and nothing all at once. But yeah, it was, uh, it was a fun challenge. And it's nice to end up with exhibits that just look a little bit different. Now and again. Here we have Oloro Titan and Drysaurus. Also in a Tundra exhibit with like a bit of a, uh, a bit of a ravine or a chasm in between. Beautiful. And then up here. Um, Pachycephalosauridae. So we have Pachycephalosaurus, Stiggy Moloch and Drake Rex. Actually, do we? Oh yeah, we do. There is the Pachycephalosaurus right there running about. Very good, very good. Let's move on. So here we have a... Let's lower. We have a hotel guest square. Um, so just um, four of the Jurassic Park hotels. Here we have another exhibit with uh, <laughs> our very infrequently used herbivorous hybrids. The Ankylodocus and the Stegoceratops. Um, these Both of these appeared in my... Uh, Top 10 or bottom 10, depends on how you look at it. Least favorite dinosaurs in the entire game. I I hardly ever use them. Actually, I just... Let's just be honest here. I never use them unless they are requested. Um, here we have uh, another interesting mix of... I don't know, exhibit biomes. It's a little bit of desert. It's a little bit of everything. Honestly, it's a hybrid exhibit, you might say. We have Styracosaurus and... Uh, Gig oh god. Oh, we have some sort of mutated species over here. Yeah. Is cell division gonna happen over here or are you just gonna stay right up in his buttocks? Anyway, we have Gigantspinosaurus sharing this exhibit with the... Whoa, lord. Styracos. Uh, here we have another guest square with, uh, again, uh, decorative squares of nature in the center of it because that's really all we can do this is only one of two tours or i should say one of only two tours that's the right order of words i have the best order of words um that's my one thing my one thing that i, I should have done to improve this park is have more tours in here um 
because tours are great and I, I definitely didn't use them enough. Also, that's the one thing holding back this park. Uh, that's the dinosaur visibility. Dinosaur visibility is pretty abysmal in this park. Oh, he, he changed his mind. Because uh, there, there aren't that many viewing attractions and, like I said, only two tours. This is kind of like the, the kitty litter. Oh god, sorry. I'm making everybody nauseous. Like the kitty litter exhibit. Uh, over here we have our monorail, which is also in a square. Uh, here is the final addition to the park, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Like I said, it started out as a park with my least used dinosaurs, but there are so many in here that we had to uh, we had to add the favorites at the very end. Uh, what's in here? Oh, look who it is. We have Homelocephaly, definitely one of my most popular dinosaurs, because, I mean, do I even need to explain it? Over here, what do we have? It's like it's like a journey of, you know, discovery. We have a thick boy acro. Is that all that's in here? I think so. Come on, show yourself. There you go, beautiful. Shame about the uh, kangaroo posture, but other than that, pretty cool. There's one more in here. Um, don't know where he went. Oh, monorail. Hello, people. Okay, next exhibit over is Allosaurus and Herrera. Let's see if we can spot the Herrera as well. Allosaurus is gonna have a nap. Sleep tight, baby. Oh, I hear the Herreras. There you go. Beautiful. You know, the skins kind of mimic each other. I don't know. I wasn't really trying to do anything in terms of pretending that they're like the juveniles or anything. But you could definitely do that. You could definitely do the coastal aloe with the coastal Herrera. It looks quite nice. I also really like using the Herrera as a baby T-Rex. And then I just use the, the basic Herrera skin. I think that works quite well. There's also a brown Herrera skin that works quite well. Over here in this tiny square we have Compies. Uh, didn't add any ground textures over here, just so you could see them. Otherwise, uh, they pretty much disappear in the grass. <gasps> oh, look at this little cutie over here. Oh god. Oh, I woke him up. There you go, I scared him. I think that was Pinky. Pinky in the brain. And they're drowning themselves. Cool. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. Oh god, they're so fast! <laughs> anyway, here you go. We have another guest square. I need to keep checking where I am, because otherwise I get lost. Alright, so this is for the Baryonyx and the Spinoraptors. Uh, they have a big lake exhibit. That was the suggestion in the chat. I love Spinoraptors so, so much. So, so much. They are so creepy and cool. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Having like a little a little talk over here. Alright, let's uh, let's leave the council of spine raptors uh, to do their own thing. We also have a baryonyx in this exhibit. Let's move over here. What's in here? What is in here? Is this the swamp exhibit already? I mean, obviously it's the swamp exhibit. It's not the central swamp exhibit, but here we have a trio of... Oh god, trees? Sukumimus, colorful bunch. I love these so much. They're so cool. Uh, and there you go. I think we're back... Yeah, we're back at the helipad, so then the last exhibit is the central exhibit right here, which is the uh, the big, big swamp. And in here we have uh, Dreadnoughtus trying to hide in the trees. Oh, we have even more. Hello. Chonkisauropod. Uh, we have one of, definitely one of my least used dinosaurs, the Majungasaurus. And as you can see, this is one of the other exhibits uh, where we have a tour going through. Oh, he glitched a little bit. That skin is pretty cool, actually. Now that I'm getting uh, up close and personal with it. Also in here is Uranosaurus. Uh, oh god, there are so many of you. There are so many of you! Are you breeding or what? 
Ah, there are the Uranos. Beautiful. I love this. Oh, this game is still so gorgeous. Oh, and Nigerosaurus. I totally forgot about you. I'm so sorry, babes. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> it's like a duck on steroids and it's coming for me. It's coming for me! No, it's cute. You know, until it tramples us. So that is everything in this park. Now we did a super quick tour, obviously. Because uh, if we really just dive into every single exhibit, this tour is going to take forever. But if you are interested in like seeing the process of this park being built, uh, you can re-watch those live streams and uh, see the process. I think it's especially interested interesting to see how it started with the grid and how I work that out into all of these different sizes of squares. Uh, so if you're looking for that sort of inspiration, do go check that out on the channel. And like I said, if you like what you see on the channel, please do subscribe. Uh, I want to help you guys out, get the most out of this game, inspire you with uh, my weird ideas. And in turn, I really hope that you can help me out, get to one of my dream milestones for this channel this is ultimately this was always the best case scenario that i could envision of the channel hitting 30k and we are so close so if you could hit the subscribe and you know be part of the group of people that make that happen of the 30,000 people that'd be so awesome so do subscribe to the channel if you like what you see and if you do like what you see i hope i will see you in the comments down below and in future videos as well for now thank you so much for watching and until next time Enjoy the game.